This is problem number 11 from section 3.5. And this problem says find y double prime if y equals 9 cosecant uh, x. So this is the second derivative. So they want us to find the first derivative, then the second derivative. Let's go ahead and start. We can say that dy over dx is equal to, this is just 9 cosecant x, so all we need to know is the derivative of cosecant. Well, the derivative of cosecant is cosecant x cotangent x. So we can say that this is 9 times negative cosecant x cotangent x. So then that's equal to negative 9 cosecant x cotangent x. So that's the first derivative. Now we want to find the second derivative. So we're going to say d squared y over dx squared. If we want to find the second derivative, we have a uh, product, so we need to use the product rule. Let's go ahead and bring that out. So to use the product rule, we're going to say that negative 9 cosecant x is going to be the u. So we're going to say u equals negative 9 cosecant x. So I need to find u prime. v we know is cotangent x. And I need to find v prime. So Let's pull out the derivatives again. Negative cosecant, negative 9 cosecant x. Derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant x cotangent x. So this is going to be, uh, well, this will be negative 9 times negative cosecant x cotangent x. And when I simplify that, that's just going to be 9 cosecant x cotangent x. Now the derivative of cotangent x is just negative cosecant squared x. So now that I've found u prime and v prime, I can use the product rule. So I can say that it's u prime times v. So u prime is 9 cosecant x cotangent x times v, which is cotangent x plus v prime, which is negative cosecant squared x, times u, which is negative 9 cosecant x. So then I'm going to end up with, if I multiply these out, I get 9 cosecant x cotangent squared x minus no, plus, because of the two negatives, so plus 9 cosecant cubed x. And cotangent squared, let's see, cosecant's 1 over sine. Cotangent squared is going to be cosine over sine. That's not really going to get us anywhere. So this, let's see. Let's go ahead and write these out just in case. So we'll get 9, this is 1 over sine x, and this is cosine, or cosine squared x over sine squared x, plus 9, this is, uh, well, this will just be 1 over sine cubed. So it doesn't really look like we can simplify this at all. I mean, we'll get sine cubed on the bottom, but that doesn't really do much for us. So we're just going to leave this as 9 cosecant x cotangent x to cotangent squared x plus 9 cosecant cubed x. So this is the derivative for the original function. Couldn't simplify it any farther, so we'll leave it as is.